Hello, I'm one of the respiratory therapists from Midwest Medical, and today we are going to go through the operation and use of the ResMed S9 CPAP or BiPAP machine. Um, that's what I have right in front of me here. And the first thing I'm going to show you is the back of the, the machine itself. Now if we start over on this side of the unit, um, we have a couple things I want to show you. Right on the corner here is your filter. And this is the filter um, that is going to protect the air inlet of the machine from any dust and particles that would come through. Um, there's a cover that you can see that just comes right off and the filter fits right inside the cover and that would need to be changed monthly or more often when it gets dirty. It's a disposable filter so when it looks dirty it would just throw it away and put in a clean one. Then to install the cover back on you just snap it right into place. Above your filter is a spot for an SD card. The machine has the capability of storing and collecting data and at some point you'll probably have to have that data do a download. There's an SD card that I just pop right out and you can bring that in to us or send it in to us and we would do the download and send the information to your doctor. Then to install it you would just push it right back in. Now if you go right over here to the middle this is where your power cord goes and this just plugs right in and this will plug into your wall outlet. Over on this side then is where your air outlet is and this is where your tubing will connect to. So your standard tubing just looks like this. This is your standard six foot tubing and it's the same on both ends and one end would connect to the machine and the other end would connect to your mask, whatever style mask you're using. This unit also has the capability of using a heated um, tube which would connect in the same spot. Now I'm going to turn the machine around and I'm going to show you what it looks like from the front. Your um, CPAP or BiPAP actually it comes in two sections. You have the CPAP unit itself and then you also have a heater humidifier. Now the unit can come apart if, if you wanted to use it without the humidifier. There's a little button right in the back here. And if I push on that, what will happen, it will just release and you're able to take it apart. And if you were going to use the unit without the humidifier, your hose would connect to this outlet right here. Now to put it back together, you just snap it together like that. Okay, first I'm going to show you the humidifier. Um, so there's a little um, button in the front. If I just push this over to the side, the cover will come open. There's a reservoir inside that needs to be filled with distilled water. You always want to use distilled water, not tap water in your humidifier. So you can go ahead. You always want to take the reservoir out to fill it so you don't spill any water inside of the machine. And there is a hole in the top that you can fill it. And if you look right inside, there's a little yellow piece in here that has a max fill line and you never want to overfill your reservoir. Now you'll want to take this every day and you'll want to dump out any water that's left inside the reservoir and you'll want to clean it. And you can clean this with a mild soap and you should use a mild dish soap, Ivory or Joy, something on those lines. You want to stay away from anything harsh. Um, now to open this up for cleaning, there's some tabs on the side that lock this together. And if I just pull down on those, I can remove the cover and then it's easy to clean, um, dump out and air dry. And if you take a look at this, you can see that you can only put this together one way. Um, there's a corner that's cut off and if, when you line it up, it's not going to fit if you don't line it up correctly. And then you just snap everything back into place and it's going to only fit back into your um, humidifier one way. And then you just snap the cover down. Now, um, your doctor would um, order the pressures that you would need to be set up with on your machine and we would preset those for you. So all you would need to really be able to do is just know how to turn it off and on and adjust your heater. So in order to do that, if you look over here on the side, there is an on-off 
switch and to turn it on all you simply need to do is hold the switch and it will or push the switch down and it will um, start working if you look at the front the first thing that will happen that will show up on your screen is you'll get a water droplet with a amber colored background and that is where you're able to adjust your humidifier so right now it's showing me a water droplet and a 2.5 so there's a knob over on this side so if I turn this knob, I can turn my humidifier up to whatever level I'd like it to be at. And you would adjust this to whatever is comfortable for you. Um, whatever amount of heat and humidity you would need to keep your, yourself comfortable is what you would want to set that at. And then if I push that same button again, it'll turn the background blue and that will lock. Um, it into place and then it'll be set and you don't have to worry about um, it accidentally getting bumped or changed. Um, now if you look at the bottom it might be difficult to see but there's a, a smaller number at the bottom and there's also a little triangle. This unit um, has the ability to use a ramp or a delay time and um, sometimes that is used just as a comfort feature and um, that again can be set at whatever's comfortable for you. Um, so what, how that works is we can set in a pressure and, and a time limit. So for example, if we set it at a time of 20 minutes, um, it would lower the pressure, lower to what your set pressure is, and then it would take 20 minutes to slowly work up to, to your set pressure. Now in the morning, when you're all done using the machine, you would just come back over and hit the on off switch and it would just shut off. Um, if you look over on the side of the screen there are some different menus. I'm going to turn this knob up. I can either go to my home screen and that will just um, show you what it looks like right now. I can turn it down to my humidifier screen and that's a screen where I can adjust my humidifier or I can turn it down to my ramp screen and that's where I can adjust my time. For my ramp. Now um, the, the tubing and the different supplies that you'll be using um, need to be cleaned on a regular basis and typically what you need to do is make sure that you're cleaning your mask and your tubing and your reservoir at the very minimum weekly. You can clean it more often than that but at a minimum you want to wash everything in a mild soapy water, rinse well and air dry. When you need to order new supplies, you can just give us a call here at Midwest and we would either ship out or you can stop in and pick up those supplies. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any further questions, you can give us a call at 763-780-0100 and ask for the CPAP department. Thank you.